here's a crossover I bet you might not have expected this morning. From the development team for Axis Studios, the creative minds behind Civilization, the XCOM franchise, and the Sid Meier's games, of course, comes this. It's called Marvel's Midnight Suns. That's right, folks. It's a crossover between XCOM and Marvel, and the development team behind XCOM and Civ have been super excited about it on Twitter today, as we heard for the very first time this. Finally, a trailer reveal and some artwork for Marvel's crossover with XCOM, this real-time strategy game. It's a tactical game. We'll talk more about it as we go, but I did just want to highlight this firstly that I caught at the bottom of the trailer. See those platforms? Well, this game is coming to all of those. So, PC exclusive, stand aside. Marvel's new crossover with XCOM Midnight Sun is indeed releasing across the board on all platforms, so everybody can be a little bit excited for it. Uh, what you're seeing here is the trailer footage, and obviously this is a cinematic trailer, not a gameplay trailer. Uh, they did tell us that we'll see some gameplay on September 1st. In fact, for those of you who want to save the time in your diary, I believe it's 11.30am uh, Pacific time on September 1st, 2021. We'll see some gameplay footage, but the cinematic the cinematic trailer here is important because it's painting the universe within which this game will sit. If you're keen to see a little bit more about what the game will actually look like itself, stay tuned because I've got some comparison footage so that you can get a feel for what it might be. But to answer that big question, what am I looking at and what is this game going to be? Well, Finally, Marvel meets strategy game. We've seen lots of games out of the Marvel, uh, the Marvel franchise before. Everything from MOBAs to action games to massively multiplayer online experiences. But we're yet to see a really uh, powerful RTS, a really powerful strategy game or a 4X game. Now, do I think that Midnight Suns is going to be a 4X game? No, but you can see here it's got 2K as its publisher and Firaxis Games as its developers. And that's very exciting, not because of Firaxis's history with Civ, but this, XCOM. For those unfamiliar, I'm not sure how you could be because it really is a massive franchise, but for those unfamiliar, XCOM is basically a game where you control a squadron of characters. Uh, your characters have unique abilities, weapons, playstyles, and a story, indeed a lore behind them. You command your squad or characters within missions, right? We have sort of a bird's eye tactical view over the mission. You're looking down on it. You can move each character and turn by turn, they'll take turns at indeed attacking the enemies like you can see here. XCOM traditionally has been kind of humans versus aliens, or in this game, Chimera Squad, it was sort of uh, harmonious humans and aliens. Basically, that's how it works on a sort of a micro level, and then on a, a macro level, on a wider level, there's a story arc to follow, like I say, humans versus aliens, let's take back the world, that kind of thing. Of course it will be different in this new game, more on that in a minute. But moreover, the XCOM sort of mantra and the way that the game works also gives us a really nice sort of leveling, upgrading, researching mechanic to it as well. You can work up your dudes, unlock new technologies, and then control all of that, including the research line and the upgrade line, from at sort of mission control. That's basically how XCOM works in a nutshell, and that is indeed how this new game, Marvel Midnight Suns, will perform. We've already had it confirmed that it's going to be a tactical RPG. That's what XCOM is in a nutshell. Now, will it be a reskinned version of XCOM? You know, I doubt that somewhat. I think we'll see probably some key gameplay features and changes. Now, I would just be predicting and crystal ball gazing at this point for most of them, but I think we can speculate on a little bit. So what do we know about this new game already? Well, as I say, we know broadly it'll play like XCOM, but what about its, its function and actually who's in it? Well, we've already had it revealed from the developers that we will see some iconic Marvel characters in this game that we can play as. So instead of playing as your own characters, but you'll actually get to do that too, more on that in a minute, there'll also be some set Marvel characters that we know and love. Captains, Marvel and America, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, indeed X some X-Men characters as well, here's looking at you Wolverine, but crucially the story is fixed around the resurrection of a character called Lilith, and Lilith has a child called the Hunter. 
Now, the Hunter uh, has been revealed by the development team, by Firaxis, that we will sort of play as the Hunter. The Hunter will be our character in this tactical role-playing game. Now, what does that mean? Well, they've also revealed it will be a fully customizable Marvel hero from abilities through to appearance. So what we're going to see is a blending of this sort of classic superhero genre with Firaxis's tactical RPG oversight and probably a lot of the gameplay structures that we're familiar with. Now again, I want to just reiterate once more, I don't think this will just be a reskinned XCOM. I think we'll see a lot of key differences in the way that this new game plays out. More on that in a few days time when we have some proper gameplay reveals to delve into. But there's a little bit more I'd like to discuss about this possible game first. So we know that we're going to be playing as the Hunter. That's Lilith's, Lilith's child, Lilith being resurrected. Here we are, the Hunter. We're here to save the day. That's sort of the broad mantra, right? And I think the fact that we can characterize this, this character fully, right? We can sort of fully customize them in every way, not only helps with some of the downfalls of these strategy games where well, I think we kind of feel like as players that we can't quite connect to it. And I don't know about you, but, and you may have no experience with XCOM or similar games like this, but for me, these games are all about character. It's all about building a relationship, building up your characters, unlocking them, customizing them, following them through a story arc, but crucially also, and it's kind of sad to say, losing them. Because in these games, in these tactical RPG games, one of the strongest things about character customization is losing that character, or at least having the threat of them being lost. And what I mean by that is in XCOM, you can level up your character, send them on all these missions, they're fantastic, they're your lead, and then something goes wrong. A grenade doesn't quite go as expected. An attack that said it would have a 90% chance of success fails. Something goes wrong on the battlefield, or maybe in mission control, and your character is lost. Those moments can really, really be more impactful on a playthrough and a story far more than any scripted element. And I think that's maybe one of the things that has me optimistically looking forward at this title. It's got Marvel. It's got that action, that draw card, that wonderful base of story and lore to build upon. And now, potentially, it's letting us as players create our own character and leave our own mark on that world. And I think that's a really exciting prospect. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and stay tuned for more. I'm keen to play more Marvels, Midnight Suns and Future, and I'd love to have you here to join me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.